gonna be doing is the file. To do that, we're gonna do exterior first. Exterior is gonna be made out of plywood. We're gonna do three quarters inch thick plywood, which we use for the base. So, if you're ordering a pallet, that'd probably be a good idea. We're just gonna copy that instead. We're gonna change our UCX to face uh, front. Oh no, sorry, right view or left view. We're gonna rotate this around. We so it's facing the wall, and we can just place them by placing them from either the edge or the middle of the plywood. I mean, to e either a edge of the plywood, and we're gonna make copies of it also. So we're gonna copy it from here to here. I just gotta make sure. Yep, it's perfectly aligned. Make a copy of this. Place it on the other side. Make another copy on the side over here. Rotate it around. But you got before you rotate it, you gotta make sure your UCX is changed to top view this time. Once you have it in top view, you will be allowed to rotate it from that view, like so. I would do the exterior wall, the one farther farther away from you first. So I'd select them, go to copy, because then you can see the inner wall here. The only problem here, yeah, that's what I thought, is you have to worry about the thickness of the plywood, so they're not, they're not going to be overlapping. That might be an issue, but that's okay. So just move them over. It's one of those flaws we did making our, our, our house. Now, I mean, it can be fixed easily by moving over a wall if we want to, but we're just going to leave it as it is because we're going to use like some corner brackets to smooth that out, smooth that corner out. And again, make a copy of this side. And so, I right, have enclosed, we have an enclosed building, which isn't good because we need access into it. So, I might actually decide to start cutting it into and making a, a door. So that's going to be our next step. Be a door. But before I do that, the best but the best thing to do right now would be to start making layers. That way, you can just turn them on and off, whatever you're using. So at this point, like if I want to see the two by fours and I don't want to see the plywood, I would turn off that layer. So I'm just going to be creating now layers for uh, each part of the building. So all I have to do is go to format layers. Get a couple of these new ones. And we're gonna start with the foundation. Uh, there's there's actual specified uh, text that you're supposed to use as an architect, but I'm not sure what those are, so I'm not gonna go through that. But if you want a shortcut formula, you can do F for foundation, and you can just, and add additional information about it. F for foundation, footing, beam, something like that. That way, if you're looking for foundation, you have a couple of them, and they'll be all in the same section. So F foundation uh, concrete, which I don't have right now, but I'll need it later. Uh, see, I should have used F U for foundation. Because because I gotta use F for floor, so F for two by six, F for floor plywood, and I'm gonna also now I'm gonna use W for wall, two by fours, and wall. I would. In addition to that, I should add some ready. A few more for wall door, wall window, and R for roof plywood for later on. So I just got to pick some colors. Foundation, I usually go with the more gray colors. Uh, it doesn't have to be. Exactly what I'm doing right now. You guys can have something else. Yeah, I mean, you could 
there's no specified colors you need to use, but if you want to make it colorful, it's up to you. I'm going to do it colorful like that, way you guys can see which one's which layer, so forth. The more you contrast based on its uh, category, the easier it will be to see which one's which. So that's why I'm using different colors that are really abstract. Alright, so I have that. Now all I have to do is start selecting each item I want to place in the layer. I'll have to select all of them at once. Oops. So this is W for wall plywood. And actually, what I'm going to be doing now is make sure just turn them off. Oops. That way, when you're placing them, there's going to be they're all just going to be just turning off. That way, you can easily select the rest of them. So once you have that established, we'll go ahead and work some more. So I'm just turn this off here. Yeah. 